All right. Um, now I want to show you how you can um, create typography animation with Noton 3. Um, if you want to create um, that first um, here, as you can see, we create a layer text, for example, and type your text, for example, VFXRZ. And after that, um, you should add um, your shape. For example, I want to use this shape for floor and then here go to um, composition and then click on not on three you should um, buy this um, plugin and after that install it um, and then here it's automatic add our text and this shape to this uh, window very good first Click on um, this shape and then in the type change this to a static because we don't need um, move um, this floor. We need it a static and just we want move this um, text. Now when we play that, you can see. You create something like this. Okay. And um, here, when you click on um, your object, here you can see the options. For example, here you can change density, friction, um, bounceness. For example, if you click on this and um, increase this bound. Bounceness and for example change this to one now when we play that now <laughs> it's very bouncing like this okay for example I want um, export um, this animation for do that here um, a start frame zero and uh, end frame for example 30 five, um, 350 select um, type this number and after that click on the render and then you should waiting for render uh, and create a new composition from this plugin um, really good now here as we can see we have another composition the name of that is um, comp2 when you open it and play it it's really good you create a really simple um, animation like this Okay, and um, now if you want um, effect separate of um, this character, for example, V, F, X, R, Z, if you want effect um, separate on um, this text, you should first change this text to shape layer. Okay, click on your text, right click, and in the create. Um, shape from text and now delete this text layer and here we have um, this layer text okay now when we um, go to composition Newton 3 first um, it open this um, shape separation and here when you click on this VFX RZ and Sepa if you click on the separate it's separate each character and then you can um, see it will affect um, and animate for each character and then uh, when we click on the separate here you can see it create five uh, shape layer v f x r z and separate them and then here 
again click on this shape um, change it to aesthetic and now when we play that now you can see um, each character now it's moving really good and um, if we a little um, increase this bouncing for example one is good now play that will be something like this okay and um, if you click on um, this shape and um, uh, first click on this to the first and now change this type from aesthetic to um, aematic now when we play that you can see hmm, you will create something like this or um, for example if you click on this and um, decrease the size of boundness and now you can create some typography like this that's really cool okay now I'm gonna to close this and delete this VFX RZ shapes um, and now select all these shapes and press S change the scale of them and decrease them to um, this and now drag this VFX to here that's really good now um, close group of them okay now this um, shape change the size of that to here maybe Now drag it here, press R for um, show this rotation and change the rotation of that. Okay. Now click on this shape layer and in the edit menu, click and select on duplicate. Now open it and in the transform scale, uh, turn off this square and here add a minus here or uh, I think uh, maybe minus here oh what's happening uh, oh um, just um, change Mm, this um, rotation add a minus and it's VR okay drag it here now select this shape layer 1 and shape layer 2 and again in edit duplicate them drag them to here and um, finally we can create another shape for uh, our floor that's really good um, now just uh, from here in the composition click on Newton uh, 3 and waiting okay that's really good now select um, this uh, shape shape layer 1 um, 2 3 4 5 and then drag uh, the, uh, this to aesthetic um, and now when we play that okay it's um, not moving so much because um, our friction it's much now um, for changing them just um, from here in the uh, friction change this friction to 0 0.01 now when we play that now here we don't have any friction and our text are moving.
that's really good now we can render them and um, from 0 to maybe 3 5 0 and then click on render it's really good here we have another composition open it and then play that it's really good you can use this um, plugin for your works it's really good plugin and it's very useful in your motion graphics and typography animation I hope you like this tutorial, thank you and goodbye.